What would happen if we were to pop a total beginner on a top of the range triathlon bike for a day? Well, this is the Canyon Speed Max CFR equipped with Shimano Dura Ace DI2. It has all the bells and whistles geared towards helping experienced and elite triathletes to ride as fast as possible within a triathlon. And this is Jacob our beginner triathlete and willing volunteer. Last year, he stumbled into the world of triathlon and seems keen to stay. In fact, he's even entered for an Ironman. All right, Jacob, thanks for joining us today on this uh, rather crisp day. Oh, it's it? very chilly. <laughs> it's chilly, my hands are very cold. Oh. Uh, now, for you viewers, uh, Jacob actually does work for us at the GTN Mega Base. So what do you do? So I am a motion designer. So we do cool things like, well, like this Whoa. in our... Uh, oh, that is good. Can I do that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Right, careful, careful, there you go. Whoa! Can I throw it in the air? So? Give it a go. Whoa! That is cool. That was mental. We should bring that into every video. We should definitely do more of that. Ah, nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, now back to the video. Um, so you do have a bit of riding and triathlon experience, but admittedly, Just a little bit. quite a beginner, right? Quite so, a beginner, yeah. So what have you done? So I've done two triathlons so far last year. Uh, my first one was actually on my 26th birthday, and it was the 51 Fiver, which is over in the Cotswolds here, uh, which is an Olympic distance. Uh, it was really great fun, enjoyed all of it, um, and uh, felt lovely and exhausted at the end. So, and then after that, I uh, broke my collarbone in the summer as well, which was a riding? bit annoying. Yeah, riding as well. Actually, on this bike. <laughs> <laughs> Still in so, good nick, though, so... I'm fine, you know. You obviously took most of the impact, not the bike. Yeah, I took all of the impact, yeah. I believe so. And thankfully, I was only five minutes away from the hospital, so... Uh, you know, swings and roundabouts. Uh, and then I did my first half triathlon, which was the uh, which was in Bowood, which is over Bath here. Um, and that was amazing, apart from the half marathon where um, I had a little bit of a tactical cry halfway around, and then a lovely Welsh bloke got me around to the end, which was uh, lovely of him. And uh, well, I survived it. That's uh, all I can say for my half. Um, and then this year I've booked the Copenhagen Ironman. Oh wow! In August, yes. You're just working your way up, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. you know, I, I didn't believe enough suffering was held um, on my last Bowood, so I thought I'd go the full hog. <laughs> Fantastic! That's yeah. really cool. But yeah, still probably a lot to learn in the triathlon world. Oh, a lot. <laughs> and uh, I believe so. You've been doing all your triathlons on this bike so far. Yes, so far. And uh, I understand these are kind of a quite recent addition so you've been doing literally just kind of in the upright comfortable road comfortable bike. road position okay and yeah. how comfortable have you got with these uh i haven't rode much of these at all to be honest with you um very new so uh, i have to give them a go you know yeah. um <laughs> i've uh I've also got a, another bike which I've just recently purchased um, and it has lived on Zwift. Uh, so I've been getting into that aero position. It's a uh, triathlon bike. Cool. <laughs> so right. a bit more for the, for the job in hand, right? Okay, right. Well, we've got a big day ahead of us. So I think it's time we get cracking and okay. get you kitted up. So I've got a bit of GTN kit for you Ooh. and of course, a lovely bike. So off you go, mate. Cool. Okay then, whilst Jacob's off getting ready, getting his kit on, let me explain what he's going to be getting up to today. So firstly, he's uh, likely going to be drawling over this bike. And then we're going to get him doing a straight up time trial. And then a hill climb. And I did consider throwing him a full triathlon, but well, there's quite a few variables in that. And we might just kill him off in one day of filming. So let's get on with this. Right, look at him, all kitted up on brand. Looking stylish now. First reactions then of the What the a speed. machine. I mean, yeah. I must say the gears are just smooth. Like they just change without even knowing, you know? Um, and it is so aggressive. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty scary, pretty daunting uh, prospect to ride this bike, but uh, hopefully I'll do it justice. Cool, and uh, do you reckon you're gonna use the aero bar? I'm gonna give it a go. I'll try and do it some justice, but uh, they are pretty scary. Yeah, well, 
as you're new to this, you haven't really used aero bars before, let's just be sensible, build up into it. If you want it, you can just start off on the base bar if you want, just get your confidence up. Okay. And then if you feel you're ready, <laughs> get in the aero bars and get aero. Uh, have you ever done a time trial before? I've never done a time trial before. Oh, well, you're, <laughs> in for, you're in for an experience. Okay, okay. Well, this is the infamous GTN TT loop. 11 kilometers of fast rolling tarmac with just a few turns. How will our beginner fare? Okay, Jacob, so we're gonna do two runs. Okay. Firstly, on this weapon, and then a second one on your trusty steed. All right. All right, as fast as you can go. Yep. We're gonna record all the data, and we'll compare it all after. Feeling okay? Yes, let's do it. Let's all right, you Time ready warm then? Up. Come on, <laughs> ready, three. Two, one, let's go, go, go! Whoa. Let's get clipped in, eh? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is terrifying! Jittery along here, I think we've got a headwind now. Hey! He's telling me to slow down, I think. Full speed up. Woo! Well, Jacob, uh, I caught you going around the course there. I was looking from afar. You look like you're flying. How was it? Oh, that was great fun. This is such a machine. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's terrifying. I'm not saying it is not terrifying. I was going along and it was just, I was got in the aero bars a couple of times. Yeah. But, and then it was just like a couple of bumps I could see coming up and I was like, okay, that's a bit risky now. When I first set off, I was all over the shot. I had a quick go. I had a couple of quick goes. I was like, I could only get one arm in. <laughs> did, you, did you see what sort of speed you were hitting? Yeah, I mean, at some point I looked and I was doing about 40 kilometers an hour. Good going. I know. Nice. Couldn't believe my legs had it in me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, it's time to do a second run, I'm afraid to say. Oh. I know. We were putting you through paces a day. So time to get your old steed back in. Ah, okay. Ah. Oh. Sorry, mate. We'll give you a bit of uh, time to chill, though obviously you've just done a hard effort. That's good. Let's go again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go, go, go! Ooh. Oh, big gear. <laughs> I can't really get in the uh, in the aero bars too much. It's quite quite awkward. It doesn't feel as uh, as secure as the canyon. Good work. Cool, cracking job, Jacob. Thanks. Two pretty solid efforts there. That was a hard effort. <laughs> yeah, how was it being back on the uh, the original bike, your own bike? Well, it feels a lot more comfortable. It felt like I was riding like uh, on a Sunday afternoon ride, you know? Like an armchair or something. Did you feel faster, slower? Or not oh, really much hard? slower. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, I tried the aero bars. Yep. Uh, but they just feel, they didn't feel very comfortable or stable. Right, okay. Um, so uh, I didn't go in them for too long. Uh, that one felt a lot more comfortable than the aero bars, oddly. Uh, okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Now, obviously, very excited to look through the times, but we're yes. not going to reveal those until later on. And you'll be pleased to know that your day on the uh, Speedmax isn't over just yet, but it is, <laughs> it is going to require quite a big effort. Oh, right. here we go. So. Head on over to our next challenge, but I thought maybe we could do, uh, you know, your fun graphics thing that we did earlier. What do yeah. you reckon we could do this time? Oh, how about this? Let's give this a go. Beat me up, Scotty. Oh, that was fun. Woo. We should bring you on shoots more often. Yeah, we'd have a lot more fun, wouldn't we? <laughs> right, what do you think then? It's pretty punchy, isn't it's it? It's a pretty punchy hill, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I've, I've got a bit of experience on this hill and... Um... Yeah, you're going to have fun. So any advice? 
<coughs> don't go too hard at the start. Okay, all yeah, right. It kicks off a bit. <laughs> uh, right, um, I reckon we'll start on your road bike this time. Okay. Partly because you're already on it, but also just to mix things up a little bit. Um, right, that's it. I'm just going to get a bit of a head start. I'm actually going to meet you at the top okay. uh, to cheer you in. Um, yeah, <laughs> just give me a minute or two because I'd rather just take it at a leisurely pace up there and uh, see you up there. Cool. All right. See you in a moment. Best of luck. First one up wins. No, please not. <laughs> well, I don't think Jacob is going to like this one bit. This is another popular climb for GTN challenges. It's just 0.6 kilometers with an average gradient of 7%, but kicks up to 18% in places. Three, two, one, go. Just gonna take it easy. <laughs> Wish I had another rest day. Good work. Whew. Tough one, isn't it? Punchy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you reckon you got another effort like that in you? Oh, just about. Give me a minute. Okay, cool. Well, <clears throat> time to swap the bikes over, and then you can uh, spin back down when you're ready. Fantastic. And go again. All right. Smashing day. Yeah, make sure you hit that stop button. Yeah, hit that stop button. <sighs> right, should we go Crunchy's numbers? I reckon it's, you've earned yourself a pub lunch and a coffee at least. Right, good work, mate. Let's go. Cool. Right, Jacob. We've had our feeds. Yeah, what a day. Cool now. That was a big day. Massive day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we earned the food anyway, or at least you did. Um, what did you think then? How do they compare? So, it was very interesting. I felt very comfortable on the, uh, the canyon. Uh, which is strange. I didn't expect that to happen. Like it was a really comfortable uh, position for me to hold uh, compared to the Oro. And then, and then I got on my bike. Originally, I was like, "Wow, it's like sitting up. It's quite comfortable." Um, but it'd be interesting to know what the uh, the data says as to how much power I put down uh, on the two bikes. Did you feel less on the TT? I felt like I was putting more power down in the TT. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. Because okay. I do think, yeah, a lot of people look at the TT position and, you know, these aggressive superbike positions and think, yeah, it's kind of scary yeah. and it would be more uncomfortable. But actually, interesting you say all of that because obviously the geometry of that 
super bike, the yeah. TT bike. Yeah, yeah. It, it's made for the aero bars, whereas when you look at the road bike, it's made for sitting upright. Yeah. And whilst you can make it work with clip-on bars, it wasn't primarily designed no. for that. So actually, you should be more comfortable on the tri bike. The bike that's designed to do that. Exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look at some of your numbers. Fantastic. So on the TT bike for the flat TT, you went 2101. Okay. And you drum roll. A max speed of 45k an hour. That's uh, punchy, no? Yeah, that's good. Um, average power, 180. And then on the road bike, you managed to hold a very similar power, you're around 175 watts. So yes, you did manage to power a bit more power on the TT bike, okay. but you know, I don't think that's going to skew the results massively. I'm probably just more excited. However, <laughs> your time was 2211. So 70 second difference between wow. the road bike and the TT bike over just 11K. So if you extrapolate yeah. that, so obviously you've got Ironman coming up later this year, you're talking over 20 minutes. 20 when minutes. using the TT bike. That's a lot. That's that a lot of a lot. time. Yeah, and let's not forget also you've got like integrated storage and maybe being more comfortable you're going to hold that position for longer yeah. versus the road bike. So it could even be bigger, which is phenomenal. I didn't actually expect it to be. I didn't expect it to be that much, yeah. Um, now for the hill climb, and this is one uh, I think is going to be quite interesting. So you started off on the road bike, you went three minutes and 25 seconds. You held an average power of 234 watts. Right. And then on the TT bike, you actually, again, managed to do very well on holding similar power. Uh, you were slightly lower, 230 watts, but you were 15 seconds slower, three minutes, 40, which, I actually kind of predicted before you started, I yeah. sort of mentioned it to you because the average gradient is 7%. We often tend to see pro cyclists, that's kind of the tipping point, 7% as to when kind of the, the advantage of aerodynamics starts to become less and actually becomes kind of a weight yeah. factor. Um, you're not a pro cyclist, sorry to say. You're getting there though. You know, Don't break this to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so we're probably going to see that tipping point a little bit earlier on at slower speeds. Yeah. And therefore, we saw that today, you were quicker on the road bike. What does that mean in triathlon terms? I mean, rarely are you going to be hitting, I mean, that hill had gradients in excess of 18%. You're probably not going to be hitting that very often or if at no. all on a lot of triathlons. Actually, the advantage on the majority of the course, on the flat sort of rolling TT sections was phenomenal. That will far outweigh yes. the parts of the hill climb. Okay. So I guess this, to sum this all up, do you think you'll be investing in a super bike after all this? Well, a super bike? I mean, that's quite an investment, I think, for someone of my caliber. Uh, maybe I want to get my use out of my cheaper triathlon bike and make all the mistakes on that one, right? Fair. You have just bought that. that I have just bought that. Um, considering I was struggling to even get into the aero position on your bike, I think uh, it might be a little bit of a bigger step for me right now. <laughs> I, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Have you, kind of, as you say, your mistakes on that bike? Um, but never say never. Never say never. Now, if uh, there are any cycle brands out there that fancy sponsoring me for said bike, <laughs> then uh, please let me know. Uh, yeah. I'm all is. <laughs> we're, we're expecting a big progression this year then. A huge Second progression. year in triathlon, um, going pro. Going pro, yeah, that's okay, the main thing, yeah. right? Um, Watch your space, any sponsors, get in touch. Let's get in touch. All right. Well, we've had a lot of fun today. Uh, I think we should keep that kind of theme going with the graphics. Uh, what can we finish with? Uh, how about a classic disappear? Okay, cool. Yeah. So should we just... Three, two, one.